people to come and all the people on the island to come and assist in the building of Nanadol. Look, is that more rocks over there? Is that yes, more? That's in the other wall. Build all the way to the edge of the reef. This mysterious megalithic site, Nan Mandel, located on the remote island of Pohnpei in Micronesia, has captivated the curiosity of explorers and researchers for centuries. Its enormous stone structures, built on artificial islands surrounded by intricate canals, challenge our understanding of ancient architecture and technology. In fact, the site's enigmatic nature has often sparked discussions on platforms like Joe Rogan Experience JRE, where experts have speculated about the possible use of advanced lost technologies like acoustic levitation. The site of Nan Madal on the island of Pohnpei in Micronesia is one of the strangest places on the planet. Could this ancient site hold the key to forgotten civilizations? Let's dive deeper into the secrets of Nan Madal and its origins. Nan Madal, a mysterious island complex. Nan Madal, located off the east coast of Pohnpei in Micronesia, is a sprawling ancient complex unlike anything else on Earth. The site consists of 92 artificial islands, all built on a coral reef connected by a series of stone-lined canals. This unique design has earned it the nickname the Venice of the Pacific. Spread over a one-mile area, Nan Madal is a testament to the incredible engineering skills of its builders. The islands, made from large basalt stones weighing between 5 and 50 tons, are surrounded by walls up to 58 feet high and 17 feet thick. These massive stones were stacked with precision, creating an elaborate network of platforms and structures, many of which remain intact despite centuries of weathering. This recent LIDAR survey at Temwin Island and Nan Madal indicates that there was a specially designed irrigation system that could support people. What makes Nan Madal even more intriguing is its remote location. Pohnpei itself is an isolated island situated more than 5,000 miles from California and 2,500 miles from the Philippines. This, combined with its dense jungles and mangrove swamps, raises questions about how such a monumental complex could have been constructed in such an inaccessible place. The mystery of Nan Madal's construction continues to baffle researchers and explorers to this day. Construction. How was Nan Model built? The construction of Nan Model remains one of the greatest mysteries of ancient architecture. The site's massive basalt stones, some weighing up to 50 tons, were transported to the island without the benefit of modern technology. Pohnpei, with its rugged terrain and lack of nearby quarries, posed a serious challenge for its builders. How did they manage to bring these enormous stones to the construction site? Early theories suggested the use of bamboo rafts, but this idea was quickly dismissed when experiments demonstrated that even much smaller stones could not be transported by rafts. Given the island's lack of proper tools like pulleys or cranes, the method by which the stones were lifted and stacked into place is equally perplexing. Lifting 50-ton stones with basic manpower would be a monumental task for any civilization, especially one with a population of only 20,000 to 30,000 people at the time. The sheer volume of material used, estimated at over 750,000 tons, raises further questions. How could such a relatively small and isolated population complete such a massive project? While modern researchers continue to debate these questions, it's clear that the builders of Nan Madol possessed knowledge and techniques that remain elusive to us today. The Saudalur dynasty and the mythology of Nan Madol. The construction of Nan Madol is traditionally attributed to the Saudalur dynasty, which ruled Pohnpei from around 1180 AD until the end of the 16th century. According to historical and archaeological research, the Sodalur people established the complex as a seat of power and a center of governance. The site's strategic location with its canals and artificial islands suggests it was not only a political hub, but also a place of ceremonial significance. However, there are contradictions in the timeline as some studies indicate that the settlement at Nan Madol predates the Saudalur dynasty by centuries, potentially extending back to the 2nd century BC. Local oral traditions offer a fascinating account of the island's origins, far beyond the established historical narrative. These legends speak of a group of settlers who were guided to the island by an octopus spirit. They used their magical powers to raise the island from the ocean's depths. 
The most notable figures in these myths are the brothers Olisipa and Olosopa, whose magical abilities are said to have allowed them to levitate massive stones, forming the foundations of Nan Madal. This blend of history and myth raises the question, were the origins of Nan Madal truly magical, or is there an undiscovered technology at play? Now first, like always, be sure to hit the like button down below. It helps us out tremendously with the reach of this video. Thank you. Acoustic levitation. Could it have been used? One of the most fascinating aspects of Nan Madal's construction is the suggestion that acoustic levitation, rather than simple manpower, may have been employed to move and place the massive stones. According to local mythology, the brothers Olisipa and Olosopa used their magical powers to levitate the stones, making them weightless and enabling their effortless transportation and placement. While this may sound like a fantastical tale, the concept of levitating objects using sound waves, acoustic levitation, has been scientifically explored in modern times. Acoustic levitation works by using sound waves to create a force that counteracts gravity, lifting objects off the ground. This method has been demonstrated in laboratories today, where small objects can be levitated using high-frequency sound waves. Could ancient civilizations have discovered a way to harness this technology? Some researchers suggest that the legends of magical stone levitation could be a folk memory of such a lost technology. This theory aligns with the idea that the builders of Nan Madal may have had access to knowledge far beyond what we believe to be possible for their time. If acoustic levitation were indeed used, it would explain how the builders could move stones weighing tons with seemingly no effort, defying the conventional limitations of ancient technology. Legends and Curses The Supernatural Influence on Nan Madal Nan Madal has long been shrouded in mystery and folklore with local legends speaking of powerful spirits and curses guarding the site. According to Pohnpeian oral tradition, the complex was not just a physical construct, but a place of spiritual significance, where ancient forces were at work. The elders of Pohnpei believe that disturbing the ruins will awaken these supernatural forces, bringing misfortune or even death to those who venture too far. This belief has created a long-standing taboo around Nan Madal, with locals often warning outsiders not to interfere with the site. European explorers who began encountering Nan Madal in the 19th century were not immune to these warnings. Dr. Campbell, a merchant ship surgeon, was one of the first to record the site in 1836. He described Nan Madal as the work of a race of men whose memory has passed over many centuries hinting at a civilization far greater than those of his time. Despite their curiosity, the explorers could not escape the strange occurrences that followed their visits. Some, like the Polish anthropologist John Kubari, who explored Nan Madal in the 1870s, experienced personal misfortunes after collecting artifacts from the site. His subsequent life, filled with loss and tragedy, fueled the local belief that Nan Madal was cursed a warning not to disturb the ancient powers resting there. Discovery of Giant Skeletons and the Curse The legend of Nan Madal deepens with the discovery of giant skeletal remains at the site. In the early 20th century, Victor Berg, a German explorer, uncovered bones that seemed to belong to an ancient race of giants. Berg noted the unusually large size of the bones, hinting that the builders of Nan Madal may have been physically imposing. This could explain how such large stones were moved with apparent ease, as described in local legends, and may suggest a connection between their physicality and the site's construction. After this discovery, Berg experienced strange events, including a violent storm that hit the island, which locals believed was a curse triggered by disturbing the sacred site. Berg's sudden death shortly thereafter fueled the belief that Nan Madal was cursed. Whether his death was due to natural causes or the curse is uncertain, but it only added to the mystique of the site. This mysterious and tragic event reinforced the warning that disturbing Nan Madal might come with dire consequences for any outsider. Nan Madal as an ancient power station? An unconventional theory suggests that Nan Madal was an ancient power station rather than just a ceremonial complex. Some researchers believe the site was strategically built to harness electromagnetic forces. Pohnpei's seismic activity could have created piezoelectricity, 
which was then amplified by the site's basalt stones. These stones, with their natural magnetic properties, may have been arranged to interact with the island's energy, creating a powerful energy source that could have powered advanced technologies. This theory is supported by the idea that Nan Mantle's structure could function similarly to Nikola Tesla's Wardenclyffe Tower, which aimed to harness and transmit electrical energy. Author Frank Joseph suggests that the combination of magnetic basalt and piezoelectricity could have generated focused energy. If true, Nan Mantle would represent a lost technology used by an ancient civilization to harness the Earth's natural forces in a way we've only begun to understand. This theory challenges conventional understanding of ancient civilizations and invites further exploration into the advanced capabilities of these forgotten peoples. Nan Metal remains one of the most fascinating and enigmatic ancient sites in the world. Whether it was a product of advanced technology, magical powers, or some combination of both, its sheer scale and mysterious origins continue to challenge our understanding of ancient civilizations. The many unanswered questions from the transportation of massive stones to the role of energy manipulation make Nan Mantle a compelling subject for exploration and speculation. As we delve deeper into its secrets, we may one day uncover the true purpose behind this remarkable site, shedding light on a forgotten chapter of human history. Thank you for watching.